Hey, DDCHJ here, and welcome to Arlbot Start to Finish. In this episode, I'll be introducing you to Arlbot and get you running some of our community-made bots. And for the rest of the series, we'll be making a Python bot together using Gosling Utilities. Hello everyone and welcome to Arlbot. In case you weren't aware, Arlbot is a framework for creating and playing with custom Rocket League bots. It's officially supported by Sonics, who have built a part of Arlbot into the game, however we still need to install a client to use it, which is what I'll be showing you today. So let's get started. I'm going to go to arlbot.org and click this link here. That will download the installer. I will say that this is for PC only, and we do support the Steam and Epic versions of the game. Once it's downloaded, we can click to open, and you can see Windows Defender pops up. All you have to do is click More Info. You can see that the reason it's been flagged is because Arlbot hasn't paid to become a software publisher. We can just click Run Anyway. This will bring up the installer, and you can click Next all the way through it. And that's that. So that got Arlbot onto our computer. We can go ahead and open it, and it'll take a few extra minutes on the first run, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. And there we go. It has launched the GUI for us. So we're going to keep this console window open. This is still a part of our bot, but now we get to do everything within the GUI. You can see that we have no bots installed right now. It's just the default Sonix ones, but we can fix that very easily by going to add and download the bot pack. This will take another couple minutes, but this is going to get bots made by people from all around the world. And there we go. You'll notice that some bots have a little exclamation warning symbol next to their name. That's because they still have some packages that they need to install. So what we can do is click on that yellow mark and install now. For Java bots, you may need to install Java. It provides instructions on how to do that. And you will see in the console window it says successfully installed. So we know that that's good. However, the triangle won't go away until you restart Arlbot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You can see the next time you run it, it will open much faster. And now that yellow triangle has gone away. Cool, so the GUI set up, we've got our bots and everything's ready to go. We can start off right away by clicking recommendations. This will appear once you've got the bot pack and restarted. And I'll go ahead and just select Camille. So that'll put a uh, human, which is going to be us, versus Camille, which is a bot. Down at the bottom, we can select the map, the game mode, any mutators we want. Uh, this button's pretty important. We can select Steam or Epic. Yeah, I'm using Steam right now, so that's what I'll go with. And another thing you might be interested in under Extra is Enable Rendering and State Setting. So uh, bots can draw on the screen. I don't really want that, so I can click the check mark. There's a shortcut for this in the game, which is the Page Up and Page Down keys as well. So with that all ready to go, we make sure that Rocket League is closed because our bot has to launch it with a special flag. And we can click Start Match. And there we go, it put us right into a game. And I'll save you the trouble of me probably losing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the game real quick. And let's say that we wanted to play against some other bots. I'll go to Recommendations and perhaps I'll select uh, Bumblebee. Or maybe I'll even add Bottomus Prime to the team. Now that the game has been started with the special flag, all we have to do is click Start Match again. And you'll see this will come up, and I'm just going to come back to the game, and there we go. Now that I've shown you how to use Arlbot, I have one last recommendation, and that's to check out the Arlbot Story Mode. Not only is this a lot of fun, but it'll really show you everything Arlbot is capable of. With that, I'll leave you to go have some fun. If you have any problems, feel free to look at the troubleshooting links in the description, or swing by the Discord and ask for help. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.